Hey guys, it's me. There's a there's a new evolu there's, there's there's a new evolution, and there's a new form of Mewtwo. So I thought, why not? Since Pokemon X and Y are coming out, why not give my top five Pokemon that I think deserve an evolution? And uh, yeah, so let's let's do this. Stop the presses! Stop the presses! Butterface 69? That's right, don't give any Pokemon any new evolutions! Butterface, I didn't know you liked Pokemon. You foolish fool who foolishly thinks that I like all the Pokemon. I don't like Generation 1, Red and Blue forever! What about Fire Red and Live Green? Those games are stupid! It's all about Red and Blue! Red and Blue are the best, everything else sucks! Oh my arm! You're mean! Anyway, here is my top 5 Pokemon that I think deserve an evolution. Number 5. Now Zangoose is my bro. I remember I got both Ruby and Sapphire. Sapphire had the Viper and Ruby had Zangoose. Oh. Anyway, Zangoose is just badass. He, he looks badass. And when I was using him, or her, in Ruby version, he just owned, and I wish he, or she, had an evolution. Zangoose kind of reminds me of Scyther, who got an evolution in Generation 2. Scissor! You see, Scyther has blades for hands, and when it involves into Scizor, it has claws. So Zangoose, who has claws, should have blades for hands when it evolves. Okay, never mind, that's fucking weird. So this Christmas season, or Halloween season, Give us a Zangoose evolution and make this guy or girl even more badass. Number four. Now hear me out. Love Disc is one of the stupidest fucking things I've ever seen. It's a fucking sideways heart with lips. When I saw this thing on Wallace's gym, I was like, "Are you are you fucking serious?" Yes, that's right. My ten-year-old self thought those exact words. I I just thought I said fucking when I was ten. No, I'm not even kidding. Then this guy was shown... This, this, yeah, this guy right here. He was shown as a Pokemon for Generation 5. Alomomol... Alomol... Alomol... Alo... Alovera... Let, let, let's call it Love Disc 2.0. I thought to myself, hey, it's an evolution of Love Disc. It still looks stupid as fuck, but maybe it won't suck. And then Game Freak is like, oh no, that's its own shitty-ass Pokemon. That's right, this thing still, like, sucks in my book. I, I don't like it. Fuck it. Y you got us, Game Freak. You got us. But anyway, this, this little shit stain deserves an evolution just because I feel like Game Freak basically owes it to us after making this thing exist. Seriously, it, it could have. It could not have been a coincidence that it looks exactly like a bigger love disc. They are both sideways hearts, but in terms of what I would want for its evolution, I, I don't know. Make, make it look like this. Number three. Quillfish was never very impressive. I like its design, but I felt it was like a shittier version of Tentacle and Tentacle, with its poison and water typing. The exception is that Tentacle got an evolution, and it's, it's pretty sweet. I don't like the, that Game Freak makes this useless Pokemon and then nobody uses them. It's like seeing in an adoption box of Pokemon. People pick up the Pikachu and the Eevee, but the Quillfish, or Bidoof, isn't picked. It's, it's so sad. But seriously, give give Quellfish an evolution that is epic. Something like Magikarp evolving to Gyarados. That that'd be that'd be ideal. Number two. Now Jinx is a stereotype. That's why she's purple now. That is completely unrelated. But the, here's my reasoning for her getting an evolution. Now Magmar, Electabuzz, and Jinx all seem like they were supposed to be some type of trio in generations one through three. They all have the same typings as legendary birds and the dogs, except Jinx has the extra psychic type. And they all had baby Pokemon pre-evolutions in Generation 2. I think Jinx is hilarious. Not because of the stereotyping. Don't don't get me wrong. It's not that's not why she's hilarious. Just, just she's she's I mean, look 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 at her. But yeah, she's hilarious, especially in the episode where she falls in love with Brock. At least I think she does. That episode was banned, so I really wouldn't know. I just feel that Jinx deserves an evolution. 
It's like Magmar and Electabuzz both graduated from high school to college, while Jinx had to repeat the 12th grade because she doesn't have an evolution. Game Freak, give, give Jinx a diploma. Could, could someone draw Jinx's high school career for me? That would be nice. Number one. Dunsparce is the shittiest of shit. It looks useless, it is useless, and has one of the worst typings for a useless Pokemon. Pure, normal type. This thing was a rare Pokemon in Gold and Silver. In Generation 2, I thought it could evolve, so I trained it and trained it and it never did. I felt like I wasted that time, even though I wasted like 250 hours on Pokemon anyway. It still looks like a... I don't even know what to classify this thing as. It, it looks like the larva stage of something. That, that being said, if Dunsparce were to get an evolution, I think it should be a dragon flying type. I mean, it does have wings. I think its evolution should look something like Quetzalcoatl, the Mesoamerican Feathered Serpent Deity. Yes, I looked that up on Wikipedia. Get at me, dog! This thing will look so badass if it got that evolution, and honestly, I think it'd be perfect for it. I looked up fan evolutions, and a lot of them depicted Dunsparce's evolution being a dragon. So, I know I'm not the only one who thinks it should get this type. So guys, those are my top 5 Pokemon that I think deserve an evolution. Like the video because I said so, and subscribe because I said so. And if you hate me, make sure to let me know in the comments and like the video if you hate me. Like the video if you don't hate me. And subscribe to me if you hate me so you can see more content and so you can insult me every time I make a new video. Because I need, I need to know that I suck. So... Let me know your top five Pokemon that you think deserve an evolution, and see you guys later. Have a great day, you slut.